What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. Specifically in today's video, as discussed in yesterday's episode, you can clearly see the bears are back. At least that's what I'm getting from looking at the generalization on the market. I do believe the bears are back. I do believe we have kind of hit a standstill in regards to the bulls. I think the bulls are facing quite a bit of resistance and i think it's about time we start to correct back down lower after months of bullish movement after months of slowly moving up retesting 10,000, i do not believe we are going to be breaking through that i do not want to be spreading fud though in any way shape or form so definitely make sure to stick around and watch the video to the end you can clearly see the bitcoin chart pulled off here and we are clearly hitting some sort of uncertainty some sort of barrier and block and resistance and there's definitely some very interesting things to discuss in today's video otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up this helps out the youtube algorithm and it helps us rank higher as well as make sure to follow me on twitter at crypto tv official or sorry crypto v official i'm sure they'll both pop up um, this way if you have any questions comments or concerns relevant to cryptocurrency uh, the stock market, uh, what's going on in Minneapolis, COVID, anything, I don't care. Spark a conversation, follow me on Twitter, DM me, and let's have a good combo. Otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm on my current YouTube channel. To my surprise, waking up with now 15.7K subscribers. We are literally killing it, guys. We are almost at 16,000 and just around the quarter for another $200 Bitcoin giveaway, which I'll probably be doing very, very, very soon because of how responsive you guys were and how much you guys enjoyed that giveaway. So I'm probably going to end up doing another one. Uh, if you have any other ideas definitely let me know down below but 20,000 is definitely a massive milestone for the channel and we seem to be approaching that very quickly so um as you as i said and as you know uh in regards to uh the current video or that i posted yesterday get ready the bears are back for xrp ripple and bitcoin uh basically prepare yourselves for what is going on you can clearly see the difference in yesterday's video if we just compare the previous thumbnail to today's so if we look at the previous one to two days ago you can clearly see we finally gave up and we gained the volume we shot back up we retested this middle moving average and as expected as it always does this is a resistance zone and you can clearly see that yesterday's candle was a massive wick and you can see we shot all the way up it did not hold in the slightest and we broke right back down below it currently hitting that as a resistance and there's a good chance this is going to continue into today moving us forward so that is what i want to discuss in today's video now i don't think i refreshed this i'm just going to do that super quickly yeah as i expected markets are pretty much down um xrp 2.5 bitcoin really not doing anything flatlined which as we know is a sign for movement um ethereum 0.1 another sign for movement uh and the rest of the cryptos are maybe down one to two percent at most but with that being said i do want to just talk about bitcoin first we'll jump into some other cryptocurrencies uh specifically bitcoin the main focal point on the channel as you guys can clearly see bitcoin as once again retesting its massive resistance there is a ton of uncertainty the past one two three four five days now uh as we expected the bullish run would swing us up for those of you new to the channel as you guys keep subscribing every day we fell down to a bottom support we called this short we shorted this i made a bunch of money and then i said if you you guys are risky investors moderate investors you could potentially swing this up buy in long and then sell it off as we retest resistance closer to ninety six hundred dollars if you did you know congrats to you you did make out on another win but now is when i'd say uh things are getting a lot more risky and i would wait to invest as we know uh there are always more times to invest in there's always more bulls there's always more bearish runs and it's just a matter of patience as we can figure out what exactly is going to happen once we do figure it out that's when we can invest into the market so at the moment we need to just hold off wait patience it is a virtue we need to be patient as we can tell this is not something new we've seen this in the past we've seen this in the past We've seen it all the way back here where we've uh, clinged to this resistance for dear life and eventually ended up correcting lower. Now, don't get me wrong. We could break out bearish, but I'm very um, 
Uh, I'm fairly certain, I don't want to say very certain, but I'm fairly certain that we are going to be breaking bearish uh, at a moment's notice very soon. What's also a very interesting thing is, yes, we're trading at 56 on the relative strength index, but you can see the way the MACD looks. We came very close at a very quick pace from this bullish run. We shot all the way up on the MACD, straight up. That were flatlined or literally parallel, which is interesting with the MACD. It's a good sign. Um, it doesn't show like bullish crossings. It really just shows rejection from the resistance. That's why it's slowing down. There's a good chance it's going to break bearish. Uh, that's pretty much where my head's at. Now, I've been sharing all of my trades and predictions and my own personal trades on my Patreon. Most of you guys know what that is. I think we have over 110 now patrons. I'll double check right now on my cell phone. I have it pulled up right here. I believe we have now oh uh well 103 we're still above 100 um but this is the new day for people to sign up uh it's a monthly subscription so literally the next month people um start to sign up so it's pretty awesome we're still above 100 we're at 103 right now which is still killer but very soon i'm going to be posting my trades and it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be smart to sign off just yet from Patreon. I do believe that right now we're, is, is pretty much the time to be signed up for it, specifically because I do believe we're going to see a big drop in the coin. And we are posting, and I am posting, things to my Patreon in relevance to when I'm selling short, when I'm buying long. So it is definitely beneficial if you guys are interested in how I'm trading and what my trades are to sign up on that Patreon link down below. And also to sign up for Dudex because we do use both. These are both two tools to have in your toolbox in regards to buying long, selling short, and making profit. The reason being is my Patreon is where I post my trades and Tudex is where I fill my trades. And you don't have to have both. It's, you know, smart to have both but dudex is free and i highly recommend you sign up there's a link to dudex in the description and now that we're discussing the bitcoin chart you can see the same exact thing applies to the dudex chart now that we've fulfilled another bullish run to the upside we've had three months of consolidation of three months of uptrend finally hitting the top resistance right here we're getting sandwiched in a pickle right here 9600 we're getting sandwiched in good chance we're going to see rejection very similar to what we've seen back here back in february of 2020 good chance Chance after the up uptrend fills, which is what we're doing right now. This is the new candle. We do have six days left, six days and maybe you know 12 hours left in today's can in this week's candle, but there's a good chance this is going to reject this resistance as most people would assume, and we're probably going to be breaking bearish any second now, and that's when we would short this coin and make a crap ton of money. Um, to show you guys reference, when I zoom out to my weekly charts, it is very obvious that we're hitting this resistance. It makes total sense to hit that resistance. We are completing a massive Elliott wave that has been three years long and in the making, starting all the way up above $20,000 back in 2017. Started the point zero right here. We connected to A, which was in 2019, to connected to B, which was mid-2019. C was the beginning uh, to the middle. I say the beginning um, of... 2020 we now have the middle of 2020 at point d and now we do seem to be fulfilling this e point this is the last thing i am predicting on bitcoin and then we'll have to figure out the end point right here whether or not we're going to fill the gap or just see an explosive price movement in the bullish or bearish directions um, that's to come we haven't figured that out yet but what i do know is that there's a very 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 significant chance we're going to fill the d to e connection and that's where you guys need to be getting ready and patient because it's literally just around the corner look at how quickly this has dropped we started literally in four weeks in one month we fell from ten thousand dollars all the way down to 37 so this can be a very catapultic you know catastrophic and fast quick and updating uh drop or correction in the price and that's why you guys have to be very patient and very close with the charts that's why patreon is good that's why having dudex is good prepare yourselves for these movements because there's a big chance we're going to drop all the way to e on um, that same thing, this drop will have a significant impact on XRP. XRP currently getting rejected from its middle moving average. We are extremely um, you know, overextended in regards to the MACD. Good chance it's going to swing lower. Uh, we are hitting the middle moving average, and there's a good chance we're going to fall back down to potentially the 17 to 18 cents support barrier and then probably break even lower than that. Now, lastly, to check out Litecoin and some of the other cryptocurrencies, you can see we're hitting the middle moving average once again on the daily, hitting the resistance at 47, getting rejected as we've done so many times in the past back in April 
April 30th, back in May, back in the beginning of May, as well as, yeah, yeah, this is all May, actually. So all of May, we've hit this middle moving average, we've been rejected, and we've fallen lower. It seems like we're doing the exact same thing. So a lot of these altcoins are switching bearish, Litecoin falling, XRP hitting its middle moving average, falling bearish. Ethereum is the only coin that is just now hitting the oversold line, unlike the other cryptos. Slightly overbought, uh, hitting a resistance up here that I haven't drawn just yet. We can actually check this out if you guys want to on the weekly. Um, it, very hard to say. This is just kind of hanging out right in the middle of its metal moving average. So I'd leave Ethereum out of it for right now, but there's a good chance Ethereum is obviously going to come back down with it. Um, but ultimately, Bitcoin is hitting that resistance, and there's a massive chance it's going to fall to E. Uh, but that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications on our way to 16,000 subscribers. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, CryptoViaOfficial. Giveaway coming soon, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.